morning and welcome. It's Monday morning. I'm going to take just about three minutes and share the teaching and preaching from Sunday morning worship. What a great time we're having in the summer as we're looking at the Gospel of Luke, beginning with the public ministry of Jesus. It's been a wonderful journey. We're in chapter 5 on Sunday. Luke lays it out according to five really basic episodes. The call of Simon Peter, the healing of the leper, the healing of a paralyzed man let down through the roof, the calling of Levi the tax collector, and a parable at the end. The way he organizes it is such that the calling of Simon Peter is really distinct from the other four episodes. Those four, in fact, give definition and description for what it means to be a Christian and to live in the kingdom of God. In the episode with Simon Peter, there's a really informative little word where Simon is responding to the Lord and he calls him Master. Not Lord, not Teacher, but Master. The word's unique to Luke, and it really indicates not that Jesus is just a good idea or a concept, but he really has authority for life. Literally, has authority that we might live like he wants us to live. It's a wonderful title. The next four episodes then really just kind of enflesh what it means to live with Jesus in the kingdom. The healing of the leper, in all reality, is about not just having a private walk with God. The leper had been ostracized from community, was outside the sanctuary, lived outside the culture, but with the healing and deliverance that came through Jesus, his life was no longer a private experience, but he was back into community in a major way. Secondarily, the story of the paralyzed man is really more a story about the Pharisees than it is the paralyzed man. It's about not living on the perimeter, not just always overhearing the gospel, but hearing the Lord speak to you personally. The third story is about the calling of Levi and the challenge to enjoy the party. Levi, the tax collector, invited all of his friends and threw a party for Jesus and the Pharisee and the Pharisees were so distraught with the grace of Jesus and wrapped up in works that there's no way they could enjoy the party. And so Peter watching on and Peter listening undoubtedly was impressed with this new ministry of Jesus said, don't live in just your private world. Don't live on the perimeter. And also, don't miss the party. At the end is just a little story of how dangerous it is that the new things that God wants to do in our lives can be lost. New wine forced into the old wineskins will cause the skins to burst and be lost. Don't lose the good new things that God is wanting to do in your life. Don't walk privately with God. Don't live on the perimeter. And whatever you do, don't miss the party. Thank you so much for walking with us in the Gospel of Luke, Chapter 5. I'd encourage you to read it this week and take time studying it. And, and once again, thank you for joining us for Just Meat and Potatoes.